What's going on, everybody? My name is Ben, and welcome back to the bench for another episode of our USS Shenzhou here on Sci Fi Wednesdays. Today, we're going to go ahead and push on with this awesome little kit, and we're going to go ahead and see what we can do with the nacelles and doing some very basic lighting. So, this should be interesting. Now, last episode, went ahead and cleaned up a lot of seams and issues with the lower saucer section, and I'm happy to report that the upper saucer section doesn't really need a lot of work. Luckily for me, I was a little bit better with that. And most of the PE stuff is done. We don't have to fool around too much with anything more for the nacelles except for the exterior portion of it and that should be pretty simple to do. That'll be later on though. I'm not going to do that right yet. Let's wait till we get the nacelles lit up and on the model. Like I mentioned, the saucer is more than likely ready to go. I might want to do a little bit of sanding here and there, but for the most part, I did a much better job on the upper section than I did on the lower section. Now, the lower saucer, I did already fill everything and I primed it and I think the seams are decent. I'm not really too concerned about that, so we can move on to the nacelles. And the nacelles themselves are fairly simple affairs. There's only three parts. We have the outer right and left side, and then we have the inner clear part. Now I want to go ahead and open up these little slits in the side of the nacelles a little bit more, just so I get a tiny bit more light to come out through those. I've seen a couple of other people there on YouTube that have lit this kit and have done the exact same thing, and it looks pretty cool. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that and just remove a little bit more of the styrene out from the sides of the nacelles. I already did a little bit of this, but I don't think I did enough of it, so I'm going to take away a little bit more and open these up a tiny bit to make sure I have enough of my light showing through. Now in terms of light, I do want to go ahead and put two of those little micro SMDs into the nacelle. And that's going to be difficult to do because there's not a lot of room in there. And I'm not really sure where the best place is to go ahead and put these. So we're going to have to get on that and figure that out at some point. Also, one of the more challenging aspects of this is trying to get the wires through this single piece lower saucer roll cage. That's going to be difficult for sure. Now let's go ahead and see how this fits together here. It looks like they just go ahead and snap in place. At least they're supposed to. Mine is a little bit finicky. It's not exactly as secure as I'd like it to be, but I think with a little bit of glue, that's going to be just fine. Now again, I'm going to have two LEDs in there, which requires four wires to go up through that little connection piece up into the saucer itself. And I'm not really sure which way I want to go ahead and do that. Now, if we go ahead and just get the saucer here and kind of just hold it up, you can kind of get a feel for what it looks like with saucer, lower hole, and our nacelle. So it actually looks pretty cool. I'm excited to see how this all kind of comes together. Now the clear part is pretty simple. It just fits up inside those openings and it has a couple of locating pins, not really anything too fancy. I'm going to have to go ahead and probably glue this in place as well because I'm more than likely going to have to remove a couple of locating tabs to make sure that it doesn't interfere with the wires. But I think overall it just kind of drops into place and we might want to clean up the edges just a little bit more. Otherwise, I think this is going to be pretty cool, especially if I can get the lights to kind of shine where I want them to. Now getting the wires from the nacelles into the secondary hole and up into the saucer is going to require me to open up a couple of areas. And I'm going to first off try to use these existing locating tabs to go ahead and feed the wires through. I don't know how well that's going to work, but we're going to try it out. At most, I think I can probably remove all but maybe two or potentially one of these locating pins to go ahead and get this kind of the way I want it. We'll see how it works out though. I'm not really sure how it's going to end up, but it's an idea and I think it's going to work. But let's go ahead and jump into our first time lapse, guys. We have a lot of work to do here today. So let's go ahead and start with the nacelles. I want to go ahead and get those all wired up. I want to paint up the clear parts. I'm going to use a clear red by aqueous, check on the wire path, see what we can do, and then maybe go ahead and start figuring out and drilling out our supports. Let's go ahead and get this party started, guys, see what we can do. Thank you. 
Alright guys, so that actually turned out to be pretty easy to do, surprisingly. I was able to go ahead and feed those wires from the nacelles through those lower supports and up into that secondary hole. Now I thought about originally just using one of these surface mounted LEDs. I don't know if that's going to really work though, so I thought we'd go ahead and just use a little bit of hot glue and test fit it. So let's go ahead and just put one of these bright white LEDs right in the center of this opening, wire it up and test it out, see if it casts enough light. So we have one installed and it does cast a little bit of light, but I'm not sure if it's going to be enough. So I think what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to open up a couple of additional holes on the other side. And we're going to go ahead and drop in two of these, one on the left, one on the right, and have them kind of facing inward. So I'm hoping that illuminates the area a little bit better. Don't know if it's going to work 100%, but that's my goal. Another nice thing about using a glue gun is that if you don't like something, you can literally just pop it right off that glue and then you can readjust it. So I think this is going to work out all right. But let's go ahead and jump into our second time lapse, guys. I want to go ahead and finish off the installation for the nacelles. I want to get that lower hole lighting all worked out. I want to go ahead and assemble the two sides of each of the nacelles, make sure that everything is nicely wired up, paint up a couple of additional clear parts for those impulse engines, and we're going to see how this turns out. So let's grab our soldering iron, let's grab some solder, and let's see what we can do and get this thing a little closer to being finished. Let's keep it going. Alright everybody, so we are back and as you can see the Shenzhou is looking pretty cool. We've got the nacelles glued onto the pylons and the pylons just basically friction fit up into the saucer. I've got the wires for the nacelles and also for the interior lighting on the secondary hole threaded through and I think it's actually going to work. The nacelles were a little tricky to get together and to get closed up. I had to use a combination of super glue and also Tamiya Extra Thin. A little bit of clamping and I coaxed them into place so I think they're going to be okay. In terms of these wires right here, we are going to go ahead and cover those up and I have a plan for that. I'll show you next time. And then once we get those ironed out, we can go ahead and figure out how to go ahead and get these down to the power source. And I'm probably going to have to put on additional wire to go ahead and drop it down through this opening. I also want to attach to that the impulse engines so that we have one set of lights that do impulse and nacelles. That should be pretty cool. In terms of these guys right here for the secondary hole, I might tie those into the bank of lights that light the saucer, but I'm not entirely certain how I'm going to go ahead and get that done. I might have to go with a little bit of larger LEDs, maybe some 5mm, but we'll have to see when we get there. As I mentioned, I did use some super glue to go ahead and close up some of the gaps here on the nacelle. I like super glue a lot for that sort of thing, but we will have to go ahead and come in and prime it and then double check and probably triple check as well. I don't want any light bleeds around 
around the edges of the nacelles. I did accidentally drop a little bit of hot solder onto the plastic here on the undersurface, so that needs to be fixed, but otherwise we're looking pretty stellar. Now, of course, let's go ahead and show you guys here. We'll just hook these up real quick. They do work. As you can see, I can hold these wires together and the lights do light up. It'll be a better connection once I solder actual power to it. And I was going for that kind of hotter spot kind of towards the front, and then I wanted to slowly fade to the back. So I think I've got that kind of in the right direction. It's not perfect, but again, this is my first time trying this, so we'll see how it comes out. And eventually we will have to come back and see how we can light block this area right in here so that we don't have a giant light shining through between the lower portion and the upper portion of that secondary hole. So that's gonna take a little bit of time too. But that is it for us today, guys. The Shenzhou is moving right along. We've got a couple of things to do, a couple more light leaks to probably fix on the nacelles, but I'm happy with how this has turned out so far. The Shenzhou is not a hard kit to build, but it is a tough kit to light because it's just so small. Plus I'm adding in some photo etch, which is upping the detail, but also making it a little bit more tedious. But anyway, guys, I'm still having a blast. So we're gonna call it quits for today. Thank you so much for watching. You guys know the drill. Go out there and get yourself some bench time, have some fun, build something cool, and we'll see you back here on episode number five here on Sci-Fi Wednesdays. Thanks so much, everybody. Take care, and we'll see you soon.